طيب بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. أني كويستشنز يا شباب بيفور وي بروسيد؟ أني كويستشنز بيفور وي بروسيد؟ تفضل. The quiz next Tuesday, inshallah, it will cover only two sections of chapter five: the induction, mathematical induction, strong induction, well ordering property. The structural, راح نخلي مع chapter هذا بالquiz اللي بعد. Okay. Any other question? Five point one or five point two? So basically, uh, day before yesterday, we looked at uh, we looked at the uh, uh, the product rule, and now we will look at the sum rule, which is kind of very intuitive. Okay, so if a task can be done either in one of n one ways or in one of n two ways, where none of the set of n one ways is the same as any of the set of n two ways. So what is the intersection of the ways of the first set and the ways of the second set, empty, right? The, the, the intersection is empty. Then how many ways I can choose that, how I, I can carry out that task? N1 plus N2. N1 plus N2. طيب, does that extend if I have not only two sets of ways, if I have M sets of ways? Yes. With only one restriction, just like the restriction of the two, uh, of the two sets, you know, if I take any pair, if I take any pair of sets uh, among the M sets, uh, the intersection should be empty. The intersection should be empty. So that's why we say here that the sum rule can be extended to more than two sets of ways. Uh, uh, so if a task can be done in one of N1 ways, in one of N2 ways, up to in one of Nm ways, where none of the set of N1 ways, N2 ways, uh, 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 where none of the set of ni ways of doing the task is the same as any of the set of nj ways, where i is different from j. Okay, for i is different from j. That's that's what here we say uh, i is greater than one, less than j, less than less than m. So for different uh, sets, the intersection is empty. Then we have n1 plus n2 up to up to plus nm. Okay, bye. So let's look at the first example. Let's look at the first example. Suppose that either a member of the mathematics faculty or a student who is a mathematics major is chosen as a representative to a university committee. Is chosen as a representative to a university committee. Fine. How many different choices are there for this representative if there are 37 members of the math faculty and 83 math majors, and no one is both a faculty and a student. No one is both a faculty and a student. How many ways can we choose this representative? 120. Huh? 120. It's, it's basically 37 plus 50. So, 37 plus 83. 37 plus 83. It seems you like to count the final, get the final answer. But I'm really more interested in, in this, right? 37 plus 80, 83. Fine. A student can choose a computer project from one of three lists. The three lists contain uh, 23 projects in the first list. 15 projects in the second list, and 19 possible projects in the third list. And none of the lists, no project is in more than one list. No project is in more than one list. How many possible projects are there that I can choose uh, uh, to do? Well, it's going to be 23 plus 15 plus 19. 23 plus 15 plus 19. Okay? Now, who can tell me what is the difference between the code that you can see here and the code that we have seen day before yesterday? No there are no nested loops here. 
the loops are basically uh, done sequentially. You do first the first loop, you are done, you go to the second loop, you are done, you go to the third loop, you are done. So what do you think? What will be the value of k after I execute uh, the m loops here? It will be the summation, huh? It will be, it will be the summation. So it's going to be n1 plus n2 plus n3 all the way plus n. Okay, Shabam. Any question? Any question? Okay. Bye. One of your colleagues in the previous section, he says he said. We wish that problems were of uh, uh, the same, uh, uh, you know, uh, level of uh, difficulty as the ones that we have seen, you know, those three uh, problems. Uh, uh, turns out that life is hard. Okay. Uh, uh, don't think that, you know, in, in the exam or in the quiz, we are going to give you a question that can be simply solved by you know, the sum rule. No, uh, you will be getting things like this, okay? You'll be getting things like this. So let, let's go over this problem, okay? Let's go over this problem. Please prepare your pens and, 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 and papers uh, because I will give you some time to try to do it. I'm not going to give away the, the answer, okay? Uh, it will not be any, an activity. Or, uh, I'm, I'm not going to collect them, but I, basically I would like you to, to, to try to solve it. Right, so sometimes it is really not enough to just use the sum rule or the product rule. To just use the sum rule or the product rule. For example, in a version of the programming language basic, the name of a variable, the name of a variable is a string of one or two alphanumeric characters. Uh, what does it mean alphanumeric? It, it could be a letter or a number. صح? Uh, how many letters do we have? In English, we have 26 letters. How many digits do we have? We have 10. So we have 26 uh, uh, letters and we have 10 digits, right? Right. So the name of a variable is a string of one or two alphanumeric characters where uppercase and lowercase letters are not distinguished. So if you have a variable capital X or a variable small x, uh, they are basically the same variable. Okay, they are basically the same variable. Fine. Moreover, a variable name must begin with a letter. So this is one restriction. It must begin with a letter and must be different from the five strings of two characters that are reserved for programming use. Yani for example, and to most of you, if not all of you studied the Python, صح? can you call a variable f? Can you say if equals? You cannot. If. If. Because it is reserved, right? The uh, F is reserved. So similarly, in this uh, version of basic, there are five reserved words of two characters. Okay? Fine. What do you have to do? How many different variable names? are there in this version of basic? How many different variable names are there in this version of basic? I'll give you three minutes, okay? I will give you three minutes. Let me put three minutes here. Uh, 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 come up with, uh, I, I, and I, I'm not really interested in the final value. And I want you to tell me it is uh, five times six minus three multiplied by four. I, I, I need it this way. Because I want to know how did you, you know, come up with this value, okay? This is what we really would like to learn. Uh, a question? Yes. Say it again. What, uh, do we care about them? We don't care about them. We know that there are five uh, reserved words. I don't care about them because I, I need the number, uh, the, the number of variables, huh? For, for knowing them does not help in counting. Okay? Uh, 
uh, if you come up with a value, uh, you can talk to your uh, friend, uh, you know, to share, uh, to share ideas. Either he convinces you that uh, you are wrong, or you convince him that he is wrong, or you both get convinced that both of you are wrong. Or uh, both of you are correct, huh? Of course, if you find the right, the, the same answer. Uh, not the same answer, man. So one of you at least is wrong. <laughs> uh, this is for sure. So? Okay. Bye. So uh, let us uh, let us see. Yalla, g g g give me your answers, yeah, shabab. Hat uh, Let me just change the color a little bit to make it. Yalla, uh, go ahead. Twenty six. Plus. Huh? Plus 36 times 36. Ah, plus 36 times 26. <coughs> plus 26 times 36. Are you what? Minus five. Minus five. Bye. Any other answers? Yes. Uh, 36. Plus 36 square. Minus 5. Minus 5. Bye. Yes. Uh, 26 times. 26 times. Uh, parentheses. Uh, 26 plus 10 plus 1. 26 plus 10, 10 plus, 1. plus 1. Minus 5. Minus 5. Like this? Yes. Tayyib. Yes. 26 times 36 minus 5. 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 Uh, uh, let's let's see uh, this answer. Who, who gave this answer? I have a different answer from all of them. Huh? I have different answer. You have different answer? Hatlan Shuf. Battalt? Tayyip. Okay. So, so uh, who gave this answer? Uh, I, I just would like to see. What, what, so, what's the logic behind it? The first, this is uh, basically uh, the, the number of variables consisting of one character, صح? Yes. And, uh, and this one, uh, two characters, and you're subtracting. طيب, what is wrong with this logic? Uh, first, uh, the yes. The first character cannot be numbered. The first character cannot be a digit. So that's why, instead of 36 here, what, do, what should we have? We should have 26. And here, instead of 36 square, 
the first character has to be a, a, a letter, صح? Yes. ف- it should be 26 multiplied by, now the second one could be a character or a digit, so 26 multiplied by, by 36, and then we subtracted the, the five, صح? Uh, so, because there are five reserved words. They cannot be uh, variable names. Because in the, in the question, it says there are five words of two characters that are reserved for basic. You cannot use them as uh, variable names. Wada hai shabab? Now, uh, now so, so at least we know how this came, صح? Uh, uh, we know how this answer came. Now, uh, this is exactly the same answer, but how did you come up with it? We have 26 letters. Tayyab. And then uh, 26 letters or a digit. Tayyab. And then the empty string, which is one. And then the, did you see now how uh, uh, it was modeled? So, so this is the uh, 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 letters plus the digits plus space, uh, which represents or takes care of the uh, 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 variables with one variables with one character and remove five. And these two answers are exactly the same, okay? And uh, these two answers are exactly the same. So l l let's basically write that down. <coughs> so I'm going to say, well, it's going to be 26 plus um, uh, 26 multiplied by 36 minus, minus 5. So this is... Uh, uh, variables with one character, one letter. صح? This is a letter, and this one is alphanumeric. Okay, and these are the reserved. These are the reserved words. These are the reserved words. Bye. Now, it's like so, so, so basically here we are using both the sum rule and the product rule, صح? Yes. Uh, where are we using the sum rule? Well, uh, th th these are variables of one character, صح? And this one represents variables with two characters. Of course, minus five, اللي هم reserved. So here we are using the sum. It is the number of variables with one character plus the number of variables with two characters, right? Type a number of variables with two characters. Since I know that the first one is a letter and the second one could be a letter or a digit, then I'm using the, the product rule, 26 multiplied by 36. Okay? What the heck Type. This one is even nicer, okay? Each user on a computer system has a password, which is six to eight characters long, where each character is an uppercase letter or a digit. So basically, I have passwords of length six or seven or eight, okay? But each password must contain at least one digit. Each character must contain at least one digit. How many possible passwords are there? How many possible passwords are there? Again, I will give you three minutes for this one, but I will also give you a hint. Not really a big hint, but it's a hint. If you try to resolve the constraint at least one digit, at least one digit. If you try to resolve this con constraint intelligently, it will be easy. Otherwise, it will be the hard way. Okay, otherwise it will be the hard way. So, so my hint is try to resolve the at least one digit, try to resolve it intelligently. Okay? And let me start the three minutes from now.
Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. So now we're starting our thing. Sir, take your time. So I have passwords of length six, seven, or eight, uh, uppercase letters or a digit. Uh, there has to be at least one digit in the password. It has to be at least one digit in the password. What is the total number of different passwords that I can have? Yeah, just like what we did earlier, let's uh, let's hear your answers. Yalla, go ahead. Ten. Huh? Ten. Ten. Times. Times. Uh, uh, Thirty-six to the power of uh, five. Thirty-six to the power of five. Plus to the power of six. Oh, listen. Uh, yeah. Plus. 36 to the power of 6 plus 36 to the power of 7. Plus 36 to the power of 7. Okay. Ghero. Yes? Uh, 10 plus? 10 plus? 5 multiplied by 6? Multiplied by 7? Multiplied by 36. That's it? Tamam. Ghero. Yes. Uh, 10 times 36 to the power of 5. 10 times 36 to the power of 5. Times 36, 37 to the power of 2. Times 37, 37 to, the power of two. to the power of 2. That's it? Yes. Right. <coughs> uh, yes. It's a long one, actually. But, uh, it's an odd one? Long one. Long one. Right. Uh, 10. 10. Multiplied by 36 to the power 6. And add them, I just change the power of 7 and 8. You mean plus 10, to 10, 10 times 36 to the power 7? Yes, I know I could make it short. 
plus 10 multiplied by 36 to the power 8 صح؟ لا مش نفس الاول نفس الفكرة بس مش نفس الاول طيب anything else any uh, any other answer yes go ahead 36 to the power of 6 36 to the power of 6 minus 26 to the power of 6 minus 26 to the power of 6 and do that the power of 7 yalla do that 36 to the power of 7 36 to the power of 7 minus 26 to the power of 7 plus 36 to the power of 8 minus 26 to the power of 8 minus 26 to the power of 8 right <coughs> any other answer <coughs> Right, if, if I call these answers uh, A, B, C, D, E, uh, which one do you think uh, seems correct? How you got convinced? Although you might have mentioned one before, yeah, uh, how many think A is correct? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like B. One, two, uh, uh, C, one, uh, two, I two, one, two, E, one, two, three, four. Why do you think E is correct? So, 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 thirty-six to the power six is all combinations of digits and letters, right? And subtracting all the com combinations of letters only. And then subtracting all the combinations of letters, right? So, so this contains everything, digits and letters, and then subtracting all passwords consisting of letters only. So I'm left with what? With one or more digits. With one or more digits. Otherwise, if I didn't do that, do you know what do I have to do? I have to count the number of passwords of length six that have one digit, plus the number of passwords of length six that have two digits, plus the number of passwords of, uh, the, uh, of six letters that have three digits, until I reach 10 digits, صح? We repeat that for the seven will eight. And repeat that for the seven and, and the eight. طيب, uh, you, you, you said you are convinced, uh, number C. Yes. How, how did you come up with it? Uh, well, I'm forcing uh, one digit. We have 10 possible digits, so I'm forcing user to choose one طيب. and then uh, we can choose uh, 36 uh, characters or digits mm -hmm. uh, five times to complete the minimum which is six طيب. and then I'm doing uh, 37 uh, which is the same as the previous one but I'm adding the empty like the empty character two times to get the maximum which is eight to get the maximum which is eight. which is eight uh, eight uh, Uh, length 8 yeah. يعني yeah. طيب بس بس هنا راح يكون عندك uh, 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 طيب length 7 is, is, is already there ترى uh, ترى هنا ايش راح يصير uh, لما يكون عندك space ممكن يكون عندك مثلا characters space well, the, these two should be the same صح اوبس راح كل ال These two should be the same. So most probably it's, it's, not, uh, uh, it's not correct, right? Most probably it is not. So, so, let's, let's write, so let's write it down. So basically, how many possible passwords are there? Well, uh, 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 this will be done by counting the total uh, uh, number of passwords of passwords with letters and digits 
and then subtracting passwords consisting of letters only of letters only and then subtracting of course the number of passwords consisting of letters only so that's why we have here uh, 36 to the power 6 minus 26 to the power 6 plus 36 to the power 7 minus 26 to the power 7 plus 36 to the power 8 minus 26 to the power to the power. Huh? It's it. The uh, it said 10 multiplied by 36 to the power 5. So, so you're assuming that there is one digit, right? At least. Mish at least. You're assuming there is exactly one digit. And it, not only that, but it is one digit in a certain place, right? If you say, if you say 10 times uh, 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 26 to the power 36, 36 to the power 5. Like, uh, 10 times 36 to the power 5. Yes. So, so you're assuming that there are five letters somewhere, and the, the last one is a digit, right? And it's only in one place. Then the digit has a book and you the second uh, a character, صح ولا لا? This adds more. صح ولا لا? Okay. Right. <coughs> like, now. Wouldn't we just moving the letter, moving the digit, just move the multiplication, which would be the same as the whole? You need to, well, you need to add in this way, sir. If you have only one digit, that one digit could be in any location, sir. Yeah. It could be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you need to multiply six times, ten times, 36 to the power of five, sir. What are you going to do uh, when you have two digits? It's included in the 36. <clears throat> what are you going to do with two digits? Now you have to check uh, what are the possible uh, different locations, uh, which we will do, inshallah, in section three, when we talk about permutations and combinations. Okay? When we talk about permutations and combinations. Right. Okay, so let's go over the subtraction rule, um, uh, which we, we have already kind of used it, right? Uh, adding the number of ways to do tasks in two ways, where some tasks in the first way are also included in the second way, lead to an overcount. Right? Lead to an overcount because you're counting it twice. Right. In order not to count it twice, what do you do? You subtract the uh, intersections. Right? So, to correctly count the number of ways to do the two tasks, we add the number of ways to do it in one way, and the number of ways to do it in the other way, and then subtract the number of ways to do the task in a way that belongs to both. That belongs, that belongs to both. And of course, this can be also, uh, this can be also uh, 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 what you call uh, generalized. So, let us do it here. Again, I'm going to give you three minutes. ولا two minutes نعطيكم صرتوا خبراء هلا طيب how many bit strings of length 8 either start with a 1 bit or end with the 2 bits 0 0 so you have a, a, a bit string of length 8 it either starts with a 1 or ends with 0 0 ok يلا I'll give you 2 minutes to do it Hey, two minutes.
هاي يا شباب يلا اعطونا جيف اس يور انسرز جو اهيد تو تو ذا باور اوف 7 بلس تو تو ذا باور اوف 6 غيره تو تو ذا باور اوف 7 تو تو ذا باور اوف 7 بلس تو تو ذا باور اوف 6 Minus two to the power of five. Any other answer? Yes. Uh, two to the power of eight. Minus two to the power of seven. Plus two to the power of eight. Minus two to the power of six. Any other question? Any other answer? Bye. Let me start with you. Two to the power eight minus two to the power of seven plus two to the power eight minus two to the power six. What did you do here? Uh, first, we have uh, uh, two to the power eight. Uh, okay. Uh, Two to the power of eight minus two to the power of six, right? طيب ترى مش two to the eight minus two to the seven هي نفسها two to the power seven. ترى هذه هي نفسها صح؟ Now what about the second one? Is it the same as two to the power six? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. طيب. So, so basically, and I, the, the way I will model it is, what do I have? I have eight bit strings that start with a one, صح? So basically, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact, let's go, let's go to the slide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I have. Eight bit strings that end with zero zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. صح? طيب. What else do I have? That begin with a one and end with a zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. طبعا هنا when we say either start with a one or end with two bits zero zero. يا ويلكم واحد يطلع يقول لي chapter one is not with us. Is this exclusive or inclusive or exclusive? It is inclusive. There is no there is no no contradiction between starting with a one and ending and ending with a zero zero. So this is definitely an inclusive or. This is definitely an inclusive or. طيب. So basically, if I want to count such bit strings, uh, 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 what do I do? Count the number here, صح? and then add to the second one, and then why why am I subtracting this? Because they are common. It, it, it's basically this is here and is in here, صح? All bit strings of this type, who are third type, they start with a one and end with zero zero. All of them, they actually belong to this pattern, and also they belong to this pattern. So they are overcounted. So that's why we need to re remove them once. Why once? Once, لأنه لأنه موجودين هنا وهنا. صح؟ موجودين هنا وهنا. من نخلي واحد منهم نحنا. بدنا نخلي واحد منهم. ف that's why the answer is what? 2 to the power 7 plus 2 to the power 6 minus 2 to the power 5. This is kind of identical to the cardinality of the union of two sets. We can represent uh, the first condition as one set, and the second condition as another set, and then take the cardinality. The intersection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's basically the inclusion exclusion. You, you, you add. Uh, the, uh, uh, the cardinality of the two sets, and then you subtract the intersection. And this is exactly what we have. This is exactly what we have done. طيب. 
The last thing that we will do before I take attendance is uh, this example. Uh, this is actually a very straightforward. Oops. Okay. So a computer company receives 350 applications from computer graduates for a job planning a line of new web service. 220 of these people majored in computer science, 147 majored in business, and 51 majored both in computer science and business. How many of these applicants majored neither in computer science nor in business? Go ahead. Uh, 350 minus 220, minus 220. نفس الشيء صح؟ okay. طيب uh, uh, او قصدك ماينس هلا صح؟ okay. ماينس 51 So what did we do here? So these are the computer science students صح؟ او the computer science majors and these are the business majors and here I'm removing a CS will business صح ولا لا؟ Okay, so this turns out to be 316, by the way. Um, make sure that uh, you, you get it right. So now, who did not major in computer science nor in, in, in business is basically the rest. 350 minus the 360. 350 minus the 360. Uh, when you mentioned that uh, 220 majored in computer science, because this is a logic class, uh, I'm... No, I, I can deduce that it might mean uh, only. Yeah, it does not mean only because this is a logic class, and we should be like rigorous and specific. But if I read this somewhere else, you know, I might be like, I might wonder, does he mean like only in, uh, in computer science? Or well, as long as as long as it said here, uh, uh, because those who majored in computer science and business, uh, they are they are they are considered part of it. Okay. They are considered part of it. Okay. Any questions, there, Shabab? طيب. Okay, so let's stop here. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك شهد الله لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك. Let me close the.